Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video today. But before we start, I'd like to have a shout out to Big Daddy Unlimited. They're now supporting the channel. And if you'd like to check out what all they have to offer, click the link in the description below and it'll take you straight to their website. First month is only 99 cents and every month afterwards is $10. You can cancel at any time. You can cancel within the first month if you'd like to. But like I said, if you'd like to support us and get some interesting stuff while you're at it, check out Big Daddy Unlimited. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> hey guys today we're back with another product review and today on channel we're going to be torture testing the bulletproof zone protect vest this is a vest that has level 3a soft body armor we'll jerk out these plates right here are the soft plates and show you all as you can see right here is a strike vase on the back here it's rated up to level 3a it's a 10 by 12, five year validity period, and it's manufactured by Bulletproof Zone. So I reviewed this uh, actual carrier a few weeks ago and had some really good reception on a lot of people that viewed my channel like this. Uh, so I talked to Bulletproof Zone, I was like, hey, let's torture test and they're all for it. So I'm glad they sent me this right here for free to torture test for you all. I'm gonna be shooting it with everything that it's ready for today to see how it stands up. So stay tuned. All right, guys, first, we're going to be shooting it with a 115 full metal jacket, 9 millimeter from this Staccato XL. All right, guys, shot it here to the left a little bit. Go ahead and open it up and check to see the panel. As you can see, the panel is deformed a little bit, a little bit ripping here, but the bullet was caught right there in the paneling. We have no exit, but it done its job right there and forms right back into shape and you can feel the bullet right in there. So, stop nine millimeter. Let's go ahead and step up to a 45. All right, guys, this will be 230 grain full metal jacket, 45 ACP. Let me clear the gun. All right, safe. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we pulled here a little bit to the left again. And a little bit more, a little bit more turning right here, a little bit more ripping, but it once again caught it in the Kevlar. So you can see here a little bit of deformation. We're about to move it right back in the spot. You can see here but it did not go through level 3A. So let's go ahead and step up to 10 millimeter. All right, guys, we'll have 180 grain full power load, 10 millimeter. All right, guys, as you can see right here, we have a direct center hit. Let's go ahead and pull it out. We put it around our uh, bulletproof or our target right here make it a little bit more realistic as you can see here pretty direct center hit and as you can tell the soft armor has deformed quite a bit now at 10 millimeter with a full power load is pretty hefty but it still did not penetrate the armor but that is a big hit right there on somebody's chest we'll go ahead and see if we can get it back to pretty good where we can stick it back in here but as you can see though it did not go through the armor Let's step on up to 357 Magnum. All right, guys, we've got 157 grain soft point tip 357 Magnum and the Smith & Wesson 327 5 inch 357. All right, guys, got a little bit right hit here. That's 10 millimeter. There's 357 Magnum. As you can see here, quite a bit deformation again, but nothing still has penetrated let's see here you can kind of look in here and see the bullet a tad bit maybe but biggest thing didn't go through the panel so let's go ahead and step up if i can get this back in here 
to the most powerful thing we're going to have today, which is a 44 Magnum. All right, guys, we're going to step up here to the 44 Magnum. It is a 180 grain soft tip. All right, guys, we was approximately about 10 yards on that one, bag close. So this right here will tell us 100% if this is bulletproof or not. There we go. Hit it right there on the C on strike face. And it did not penetrate, but it did leave a big whelk right here to where you can tell it got, it got uh, pretty close to that, but now it did not penetrate. Let's go ahead and rip it open here and see what we're looking at guys i know this is what you want to see okay let's hold this up here we'll throw it away here in a second here is the vest once you take it out of the holding right here i would say is the Ooh, that's hot that's 44 magnum then uh i first thought it was the 45 but no here is more than likely the 357. 45 was over here anyway. That's 10 millimeter or 357, one and two. But as you can see, that's what happens whenever a bullet hits a substance it can't go through. It starts mushrooming out like this. So every bit of that energy in these bullets is transferred out whenever it actually hits. And it starts spreading. And it does not go through the plate. Here's nothing but a little bit of styrofoam here on the back. I'd say just for uh, just for cushion a little bit. That's just where the uh, the Kevlar started swelling a little bit, but it did not go through. We didn't shoot anything out here that would have had a hole that big. But here is the back of the Kevlar, as you can see. Not a single thing that has penetrated through it. And when we start going through the layers here, let's see here. I would say that right there might be the 44. Yeah, I would say that right there is the 44. That's more than likely the 10 millimeter, and that's probably the 357 Magnum. So look at the type of mushroom that that thing right there will produce. I mean, it's a deadly, deadly outfit. Let's go ahead and put these up for a second. Let's see if we can find this nine millimeter. Might have dropped out a minute ago whenever I was pulling it out because it sure did catch it because right there was where it was at. But as you can see here, guys, the Kevlar withstood everything that we threw at it today and it lived to tell the tale. So that is what true 3A is. Uh, we'll stop up to a 44 Magnum. We'll not stop rifle rounds such as a 223, 556, or 762 by 39, which is an AK. Uh, so that's why we didn't throw anything like that at it. Um, but as you can see here, everything that it is rated up for, it withstood very well. Uh, let's step back here one more time and throw about 20 some rounds out of nine millimeter. All right guys, 20 rounds of 115 grain, nine millimeter staccato XL. So guys, as you can see here, we riddled the front end of it. Go ahead and pull it out. There you go. All right, as you can see, it's Taurus Kevlar, a new one. We can pull it apart, maybe start trying to find them a little bit. As you can see, they're dropping out of here like flies. We're getting down to the few last pieces and that's where you can find a lot of them. As you can see there with that 115 full metal jacket, it doesn't mushroom at pretty much at all. It's almost a complete bullet itself. Whew, they're hot. There's three more and a bunch of them fell out on the ground whenever I first picked them up. So as you can see, yeah, as you can see these back ones right here, there's not a single thing that's went through it. So even after everything, the uh, nine millimeter, 
10 millimeter, 357, 44 Magnum, 45 ACP, and now 21 rounds of nine millimeter, nothing at all has went through it. So guys, uh, pretty much the proof is in the pudding on this. Bulletproof, <clears throat> bulletproof zone right here, as you can see, and the carrier still uh, holds up after every one of them rounds went through it. But guys, like I was saying, the proof is in the pudding. This right here works, and I 100% stand behind their product. So guys, appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I'll see y'all in the next video.